So, as you can see, the portrait mode on the rear now works with both or single rear camera. Dual camera portrait has a little bit of crop where in the single camera one it looks much better and wider. Here are some pictures that I took quickly. It was there before in stable ROMs but it was removed by Xiaomi and it's now here with the MIUI beta ROM. It may come on the Redmi Note 5 Pro Indian version with the stable build soon with Oreo. And if you want to know how to install this beta ROM, link for that will be in the description box below and in the cards as well. And yes, the procedure is same for both stable and beta MIUI ROMs here. If I jump into the settings and about section, you can see that it's global beta MIUI version 8.5.2, which simply means 2nd of May build. Note that this beta build is not yet released officially on en.miui.com, but I'm pretty sure that this is official beta. If that was confusing, this is a leaked build which is official but Xiaomi don't want to provide the links to the public yet. I have no idea why but I'll give the link in the description box below and it will be updated when a new build comes. Everything like camera, vault DE, full screen mode, gestures, face unlock, fingerprint sensor, IR blaster works super fine here and the ROM is smooth enough and doesn't feel like it's in beta at all. Here are the screen locking, unlocking and charging sound. I think it's a little bit changed here. And I tried to see if dual volt works or not. So I inserted two geo sims at the same time. And as you can see, dual 4G is enabled. As you can see, if I try to place a call from sim 1, now it simply doesn't work. It says mobile network not available. And I tried to set it to prefer LTE for both, but it simply did not work for me. And I simply can't see network for the other sim when one sim shows vault DE. And as you can see from here too, vault DE is enabled for both sims in settings, but it simply does not work. If you guys know any workaround about this, please let me know in the comments down below. Conclusion, dual vault DE does not work for me even in this beta ROM. And let me just show you another bug that I found. It's about the read mode. Well, as you can see, the display is reddish even when the read mode is off. Let me just tap and hold for the settings. And if I just turn on the read mode now, as you can see, the display becomes white. And now you can adjust the yellowish tint from here. So read mode is kind of working but in reverse right now, I would say. And if I try to turn it off again and try to adjust the colors from display settings, that simply does not change much. So there you have two bugs, buggy read mode and the dual 4G vault e bug. And here are some more things that I want to end this video with. I have been using this stock silicon smoky black case which comes inside the box and I feel this is not a right fit because in my opinion it sits on the phone really really loose that sometimes I feel like the phone may fall out of the case but that's just me it never fell actually so that's why I bought this silicone case for just 90 rupees from a local shop and I feel it's more of a better fit and the protection should be much better with this as the edges should protect the screen too as it has a bump but yeah, it becomes yellow with time. I know it looks ugly and thick AF, but can't help anything over protection and a good fit. 
So just saying, if you have a Redmi Note 5 Pro, get a third party case like this should be better for you. And if you put the phone on a table, the camera doesn't touch the surface so that's pretty cool here too. So that wraps up this video guys, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe and like the video if you haven't yet. This is Tito, you have been watching KDN Tech and I'll see you next time.